Hello, Mr. Red here. Today is February 28, 2017, Mardi Gras Day. Uh, and now, uh, while most people are out, out in New Orleans um, catching beads, I'm here in the shop here at St. Joseph of uh, Works, um, one of our great sponsors of, of Abbey Honey, um, putting the finishing touches on, uh, building the stands uh, for catching bees. Well, there are folks in New Orleans are catching beads. I'm over here. I'm worried about catching bees. So I'm working on. I, I built I built two kinds of stands um, for this job. Uh, one of them is going to hold um, the little the little nukes right here, little nuke boxes, and the other one's going to hold a full size uh, ten frame beehive. Um, and I use both of them uh, because I find that that. Uh, when, when I want to hang in trees, the ones I hang in trees, I'll, I'll use um, the little nuke stands uh, and set the nukes in there, and they work really well for that. And then when I go underneath the houses, um, that's where I'll put the, the full 10 frame boxes. It, I can attach them to the posts or beams, and it's very easy to do it that way. Plus, that way I don't have to transfer um, bees from, uh, from the 10 frame into uh, anything else, but in the nukes, well, you have to transfer. So what do I use to... Um, bait my traps. That's always the, the big question, you know. What do you use to catch bees? I only use two things, you know, well, and it's more than two things. First thing, I want to use equipment that's old, that's got the old bee smell in it, because bees are attracted to that scent, that smell. So any any old equipment that you have, that's really what you want to put as a, as to start out um, your, your swarm trap with. So all these, all these new boxes, all these obviously had bees in them, they're full of propolis and stuff and, and so that's a really great place to start just as well as the, my 10 frame um, hot bodies they're old bodies and, and they're really good it's, it's good stuff to use um, and then after that I always um, I always want to put um, old brood frame uh, in the box now in these nukes um, uh, I've, I've, I actually fill them up with the old um, brood comb and I mean, it's got the smell. I and mean, as soon as I pull that out, I could smell this. And believe me, if I smell it, the bees smell it. So this is this is the other really, I think, important thing is putting old brood frame in there. Now, I know a lot of people don't have the brood frame. So, and when I was first starting out doing this, um, now I've been doing setting swarm traps now for five years, five, six years now I've been doing this. And and so I've, I've got a got pretty good supply of, of old uh, brood frames to use. But when I was first doing it, I would simply use an empty frame that I had put beeswax on it and uh, set it in the box, whether it be a, a 10 frame or a nuke. But the other thing that you're going to want to use, you always want to use, is the um, lemongrass oil. The lemongrass oil is, is just a, a natural uh, oil that uh, for some reason the bees are attracted to this stuff. So I, what I do is I take, take the lemongrass oil and I put it... Uh, three or four drops on the end of a cotton uh, Q-tip and then just place it inside of the, uh, the nuke or the uh, high body. And that really does work as an attractant for bees. So I, that's the basically what I, what I use. And so the other question that I, I'm always asking, well, where do you, where do you place your, your traps? Where do you set them? And um, I, would, I would say that when you're first starting out, you really don't have any ideas. It's just like fishing. When you when you start to go fishing and you're not familiar with the area, you just keep trying, 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 trying until you finally catch fish. But once you find a spot that catches fish, you just keep going back. And that's really what I do. I Now, after five or six years, I know where I catch bees, and I'm just going right back out there, setting my traps, and I'm going to catch bees again. So that's really the, my advice is to, to, to try and try. And once you find a place where you catch bees, then keep on going back to that place because there's still bees there. So I'm going to go ahead and load everything up in the truck and uh, head out to the first spot and we're going to um, set set our traps. Now of course the first spot is only about three miles from here from the Abbey um, and it's the, uh, the beehive house as I call it because I pulled seven uh, hives of bees from underneath this house and last year I think I caught five or six swarms of, of bees inside traps. So it's real close to the Abbey. I'm going to go ahead and set my traps out there today, and then we'll move over into Covington and Walton and set our other traps. Just follow along and see how I do it. Well, here we are at the uh, Beehive House, and uh, 
I forgot to mention, I had actually left all my stands uh, still attached to the posts uh, from last year. Um, the homeowner, they use this house as uh, just a, a weekend kind of retreat. Uh, they have a farm about 60 miles from here, and so they come up here mostly just to cut the grass. But uh, other than that, it's, it's not occupied. Let me show you where I've, I've removed a bunch of hives up in here. You know, there's, that's one right there. Uh, let's see, here's another big one right here. Um, one right there. One right there. One right there. One right there. And one more. Right here. Lots of lots of hives. So this this place is really uh, a gold mine as far as catching swarms. And I, I caught uh, a swarm at that location right there. This one right here and at the very end. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the uh, the boxes, throw them on there and strap them in. And I'll give you a shot of what it looks like after. And there you have it. Three bait boxes all ready to go. Got one on the outside here. Inside, right there. And again on the outside, right there. These guys are fishing right now. There is um, one more, I guess, secret that I do uh, have to attribute the success in catching uh, um, swarms with. And that is every time I, I set traps, I, I say a prayer. And so I would uh, recommend that to everybody. It can't hurt, but for me, I know it helps. So i ask God's blessing for these traps and all the ones I set. Good fishing for us. And now we're gonna move on to Covington. Here I am in, in uh, Covington right now, and I've already got the two boxes set up. Now the reason, uh, that I, I chose this location this is my buddy's house and every year in that little hut right there he catches two swarms of bees every year he's fixing to tear that uh, little hut down and uh, so I came over here and we're gonna catch some bees for the Abbey so we got one up in the tree right here and another one right over there we do our little prayer and we're out of here we're moving on to uh, Mandeville next and now I'm up in Mandeville. Um, we're about about nine miles south of, of the Abbey um, here in Mandeville. Um, when I was in Covington, that was about four miles south of the Abbey. And we're at the, uh, in Mandeville right now, but this garage is where Wreck-It Ralph and I pulled four hives out from underneath this carport right here. And there's still there's remains of a little external one right here. And then on the other corner, Ralph and I pulled one out from this corner. And underneath this piece of plywood right here was a very large one right here, very large hive right here. Um, back here, this is where I pulled that little external hive right here. And then on the other side of the fence, at that end of the garage, that's where Ralph and I pulled out another one. It's five hives in this one garage, so you know there's bees in this area. So I'm gonna pull things out of the truck and uh, start setting up here. But we got the good, good watch dog watching out for us right here. And we put up three of them. We got one little nuke on this corner. Uh, the 
the other nuke on that corner, nuke box, and then on the other corner, a big hot box. Alright, so with blessings of God, these traps will catch some bees and add to the numbers at the Abbey. Now we're headed up to Waldheim, so I'll see y'all up there. Well, I'm up here in uh, Waldheim now. Actually, I just now finished doing up all the, setting the rest of the traps. Um, set another four more up here. You can see in the background the, uh, the hives, because um, they were actually in the St. Lucie uh, bee yard. Hives back there. Um, and one of the reasons I, I, I love coming out to this place is there's so many bees out here, feral bees out here. Every, every hive that, we've, that, that are over there, it's all bees that I caught right here on this property. Um, I pulled six hives out of this house alone and then numerous swarms um, that I've caught here. So this is just a great place. So I, I, I set four more traps out here. And uh, I guess that's about it for today. So we set 12 traps, um, um, and they're all, they're all pretty close to the Abbey. This is the furthest one away. We're about 12 miles, about east, 12 miles east of the Abbey up here. But they're all generally pretty close, um, so it's not that difficult to come check on. Actually, this is on my way home, so I can check on this one real easy. So that's all I have for you today. It's about 5.30. It's time for me to head to the house and get something to eat. Um, before I leave, we'll do the, uh, the, the beekeeper spotlight section. Today I'm going to uh, focus on my buddy Desmond Simmons, who's uh, up in Arkansas. He's about probably about 50 miles southeast of, of Little Rock, and he's been a beekeeper. Again, I forgot how many years he's been a keeper, Desmond. <laughs> but uh, it's been a long time because he's got a lot of hives. He's got a lot of hives up there. Uh, he does a lot of the same things that I like doing, which is the cutouts and, and, and doing swarm catches and, and, and catching um, swarms, setting traps. He likes to do all those things too. So I'm going to leave you with uh, some pictures of Desmond and his bees, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. So thank you for watching. Keep on watching, and I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Red, I'm out of here until the next video.